1602 has now been installed in a 19 inch equipment rack. You can see the control panel and just above that the paper tape reader. I'm still using a grid case 3 as a terminal to communicate with the system, but the big difference is now we have the paper tape reader. I'm going to show how to do a uh, bootstrap loader. After we enter the program from the manual, we'll check to make sure it's installed. The beginning of the program, this checks whether device 12 is ready. It'll keep looping back until the device is ready. And then it will load the first word from device 12. All the I.O. devices have a unique I.O. code for uh, Data General Nova. Uh, with the teletype input and outputs being 10 and 11 and the uh, paper tape being 12 and 13. When you look at the structure of the machine, you'll see that the I.O. bus is separate from the memory and address bus. And in data general world, you could only get to the I.O. bus by going through one of the four accumulators, A0, A1, A2, or A3. So we'll go ahead and check the rest of the bootstrap loader program. Make sure that's all entered correctly. Then thread the paper tape onto the reader. Line up the little holes with the sprocket. Close the gate, then go down and hit the start button. And now the program's loaded. One of the other things I've been playing around with is a little program that allows you to print out of the TT0 port. Starts at address 2000. What we're doing is loading an address from memory into accumulator zero and then running a print subroutine. So you load a new address into zero and print that. But in order to print, you actually have to run a print subroutine. And that print subroutine tests the TT port to see if it's ready and jumps back if it isn't, then prints the data out to TT and then jumps back to the address that's stored in accumulator three. Accumulator three is written to once you start a JSR routine. Here we can see the print routine at 300, test the device, jump back until ready, print, and finally return to the address stored in A3. I put together some paperwork to help with uh, programming these things. There's a sheets of uh, instructions and then a blank sheet where you can write the instructions. So in this case, I want to do like a load accumulator. So I know that load accumulator is 001. Three and four specify what accumulator it is. So we're going to make that zero. So that's zero, zero. Five is a zero. Six and seven are going to show the address mode, which in this case I'm going to use page zero, which is zero, zero. And then eight through 15 are the actual address I'm going to be looking at. So that's going to be 100. So now if I look at this in octal, it's zero, two, zero, one, zero, zero. And that's my instruction to load accumulator zero with the contents for memory cell 100. And that's what it actually looks like on the panel. The next thing I want to do is a jump command. Jump is uh, pretty easy because uh, 0 through 5 are all zeros, so we'll just put them in first. And then we want to put the address mode in there. In this case, I want to jump to the address that's stored in AC3. 
so that's one one and I want no offset with that so it's going to be all zeros after that so that's zero zero one four zero zero an octal which is jump to the address stored in AC3 and that's what it looks like on the system so if we go back to address 2000 and we push start it'll actually execute the program so there's start and it's pretty fast so you don't really see it but what happens is every time you push start it will go ahead and print another line that says test one two three so this could give you kind of an idea what an old system like this uh, running in just assembly language could do and some of the simple programming tricks that you could use with uh, that type of hardware